Please be seated. The court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. In today's hearing, the chamber will hear the testimony of Mr. Bichim. Ms. Chia Ti Hong, please report to the chamber the attendance of the of the parties to the proceedings. Refugee, Mr. President, for today's hearing, I note uh, that all Monsieur parties to the proceeding are present, except Mr. Sun Arun, National Defense Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Jie, is absent due to his health reason. And Mr. Nguyen Jie is present in the holding cell downstairs, and he has waived his right uh, to attend uh, directly in this courtroom. And the waiver of Mr. Nguyen Jie has already been sent to the greffier. The witness who is uh, Brought before the chamber today is Mr. Pichim. Mr. Wung Sawan, the duty counsel, is also present in this courtroom. Thank you, Mr. President. The President, thank you, Mr. Siu Hong. Now, the chamber uh, rules on the request by Mr. Nguyen Chia. The chamber is seized of the uh, request on waiver of Mr. Nguyen Chia dated the 23rd of April 2015. Certifying that due to his health uh, reason, uh, he cannot concentrate uh, and he uh, wants to be able to attend the future hearing, so he waives his right to be present in the courtroom on the 23rd of April 2015. And his uh, defense counsel uh, has already advised him uh, of uh, the impacts of this waiver, and that uh, does not amount to the uh, a waiver of the uh, right to present in this courtroom, and it does not affect uh, his right to participate in the fair trial due to uh, the health condition uh, certified by the uh, doctors attended to him. They did the 23rd of April 2015. Uh, it uh, notes that the health condition of Nguyen Chia uh, he has a uh, chronic uh, back pain, and he uh, have the pain when he uh, sits for a long time. For that reason, uh, the chamber allows uh, Nguyen Jia to follow the proceeding in the holding cell uh, downstairs. And according to Rule 81.5 uh, of the ECCC, uh, the chamber grants uh, Mr. Nguyen leave uh, for Mr. Nguyen Jia to follow the proceeding by remote means from the holding cell uh, downstairs through audio-visual equipment for the entire proceedings today. The audio-visual officials are instructed to connect uh, for Mr. Nguyen Jia so that he can uh, follow the proceeding uh, remotely from the holding cell downstairs during the entire proceeding today. Next, the chamber hand over the floor uh, to the lead co-lawyer for the civil party uh, to put the question to the witness in question. You may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je donne Thank la parole you, Mr. à ma consoeur et je poserai par la suite quelques questions à moi-même. And then afterwards, I will ask a few questions. Thank you, Mr. President and Mr. President, Mr. President Jonas and everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Mr. Witness. My name is Sun Savon. I am a lawyer for civil parties in case 002. You have so far answered questions by the co-prosecutors in relation to Tram Cooperative and Krang Tachan. You are one of the most important witnesses in order to find justice for the victims as well as the suspects, says the council. And for that, I seek your further cooperation on this matter. 
C'est pourquoi nous avons besoin de toute votre coopération. My first uh, topic that I would like to uh, get clarification from you is in relation to forced marriage during the regime. In your capacity as the Secretary of District 105, were you aware of the marriage regulations? Connaissiez-vous les règlements en matière de mariage? Some <coughs> Witness, I'd like to respond to your question in relation to the marriage regulations. Yes, indeed. I knew about the regulations. Oui, en effet, je savais qu'il existait des règlements et je les connaissais. Although it did not exist in the form of articles and law, it existed in the form of a common practice from the upper to the lower level, and we simply followed the practice. And I mentioned that at length yesterday. Thank you. Question. Who or at what level such marriage principles were created and disseminated to the lower level for implementation? President interrupts. Uh, Mr. Pritchard, please wait until the microphone is operational so that your voice will go through the interpretation system. And please only respond when you see the red light on the tip of the microphone. Witness. Témoin. In fact, on the practice or on the regulations of the marriage, we discuss en fait, amongst ourselves at the district under the guidelines from the zone. De la zone était and en from fond. my observation, ce que pu observer, the, there were some gaps in the practice des lacunes dans la pratique. because not everyone uh, uh, consented to the marriage. Les and gens as, uh, ne consentaient pas tous I à knew we were Je so busy at the district level cela, and sometimes we gave such authority to the uh, unit chiefs. And as a chef result, for those couples who en consented cela, to the marriage, they were happily living together, but for the others, they did not. Ensemble, mais les autres, non. Council, thank you. Je vous remercie. Could you further tell the chamber about the marriage principles that was practiced? Was it commonly practiced throughout the country? Les pratiques. Est-ce que les pratiques étaient également communes à l'ensemble du pays? Answer. Réponse. I do not know whether it was a practice uh, nationwide. I only si knew about uh, the practice in the southwest zone. zone Even within the zone, I do not know whether zone, in other uh, sectors, for example, 33 or 35, exemple, the common practice was uh, used or not. Council, thank you. Je vous remercie. Correction. You just uh, mentioned that Vous venez de dire, some à couples consented uh, to their marriage, while others did not, and eventually they marié. got a divorce. Can you tell the chamber clearly? Pourriez-vous expliquer clairement à la chambre? As to the consensual marriage between the, the couples. Ce qu'il en était. Did such an event uh, take place during 1972 or 73? Or which year did it happen exactly? Et en quelle année est-ce que ces mariages avaient lieu? Answer. In fact, uh, it mostly happened in 1975 uh, en fait, 
was right on in 1971 or 72, and there was only a handful of marriages during those years. Because when a wedding was held, music was played, and it could mentally affect those who were busy themselves in the front battlefield. So usually the marriage ceremony at that time was done secretly. I refer to the period of 71 to 73. De so, allant de 71 However, à it became Cependant, more widespread and opened after the country was liberated and nationwide in 1975. En 1975 and by that time, both the, the female and the male couples were mature enough. So the, the regulations seem to uh, relaxed a little bit as more weddings assoupli. were organized. Et on organisé davantage de mariages. For example, sometimes a group or uh, two groups of uh, dudes were organized uh, for a wedding ceremony so that it could uh, proceed uh, more quickly. En même temps, de façon à ce que cela soit plus rapide. And that happened in a rather large scale at that time, although there was no uh, clear or uh, precise uh, instructions from the si upper level. It happened uh, in a form of a family to family uh, relationship. Et cela se faisait grâce aux relations entre les familles. And we also just tried to follow the tradition that the couples should get married first before they consume it. Avant de le so that they would be uh, recognized legally by their Ainsi, neighbors. Counsel, thank you. Je vous remercie, Monsieur you Témoin. said that in 1975, uh, such a wedding ceremony uh, were relaxed and it, it was held at a large scale. Can you further expand on that point? Et à grande échelle. Pouvez-vous nous en dire davantage? Answer. When I said that it was Et relaxed, it means that usually the uh, proposals would be uh, approved and not rejected. Et non pas and that was uh, relaxed in that sense. Voilà en quoi consistait so usually we would approve uh, any uh, proposals so that the unit and the community could uh, further act upon the request. Council, uh, thank you. La décision. And you uh, just said that those couples they consented uh, to the marriage were all of them consented or were some of them forced to marry? Answer. So I did not have réponse. a full understanding on this matter. Je De la situation. But I believe uh, both sides were asked about uh, the marriage before they were actually married. Aux deux avant de les the uh, the negative point was that on the letter we we were told that both sides agreed or consented to the marriage and that it would take place about a week after. Ce mariage aurait lieu une semaine plus tard. And we were told that the community chief already inquired from both sides about their intention to get uh, married. And when they passed on that information to the district or to Anka, we would further inquire from the intended couples Nous posions whether la they were consented to the marriage. And as I said, only a small number of them were unclear whether they wanted to uh, get married. And in that sense, it could be inferred that they were forced to get married. Secondly, the wedding ceremony was the responsibility of the commune level. 
And sometimes about uh, 10 couples were organized uh, for an event. At that time, the commune chief was a female by the name of uh, Mai, and she was uh, in charge of organizing such uh, wedding ceremonies. So usually the wedding would be the wedding ceremonies would be organized at her commune, although the couples could uh, be coming from other ten or twelve communes. And in that sense, I said that the wedding ceremonies were held at a large scale. For example, ten or twelve couples from each commune, so the total number of the couples could be in through a hundred from the ten or the twelve uh, communes. Pour toutes les communes. And that commune chief was the one who organized Et such a ceremony. Council, la thank you. So Je every Donc, marriage, mariage, through your personal observation, uh, was that uh, you instructed the unit chief to inquire from the, ainsi. Vous from au chef the duke whether they consented to the marriage. And what about the parents of those people? Would you aware that the parents also consented to the proposed marriage? Avec le mariage proposé? <coughs> Answer. I also uh, took part uh, in the inquiry. Je participais également à cette vérification. I made a further inquiry with those people as I did not believe uh, everything. Davantage de questions parce que je ne croyais and pas tout when I asked them, they replied that they consented the question, to the proposed marriage and none of them ever said that Aucun he or she disagreed or not consented to the marriage. So, in my mind, I would say some of them were afraid, Donc, although uh, avis, they might be, peur. they might uh, hesitate to tell me the truth. Certains ont hésité and à me dire through la my vérité. observation, sometimes I would postpone that couple uh, marriage. D'après ce que je pouvais voir, j'étais parfois poussé à remettre à plus tard le mariage. And uh, sometimes marriage ceremonies uh, took place in other offices uh, near the forest or at a, a far, uh, far away from where I lived, so I could not have a full understanding about that. Because they were not close to where I could observe, and there was a chief there, so only the chief there would understand about uh, that event. Council, thank you. And let me ask you uh, why there are the wedding ceremony was organized according to the Cambodian tradition. For example, there was a sermon by a monk, and then there was a traditional uh, hair cutting ceremony, for instance. Answer, no. Réponse, no. At that time, there was no band, so no music. À cette époque-là, il n'y pas de musique. Il n'y avait pas de groupe de musique pour cela. There was a section where they were asked to pray for the dead souls. Il existait une section qui était chargée de prier pour l'âme des défunts. And then the couple would be Ensuite, uh, requested to present themselves, uh, one couple after another. And then they would say whether they agreed to take uh, their partner as a life partner. Si they consented to the uh, marriage. 
And once Leur they did so, then they would be allowed to sit, and then the next couple would uh, present themselves and le say, My procedure will follow. So usually they would uh, speak out uh, their uh, mind, and Ainsi, then the same process would follow until the, uh, the last couple. Avis, and when the wedding ceremony uh, concluded, la de then était terminée, the organizer would wish the newly wed couples and the attendants alors aux all the best. Et au public, tout le meilleur. And finally, there would be a, enfin, a dining reception, depending on what we could uh, afford. There could be uh, cooked rice uh, with dessert. Selon ce que pouvait se so, Il y avait, par exemple, thank you. Ou un Can you tell the court uh, at when such ceremonies uh, were organized, I mean, whether they were organized during the daytime or during the nighttime? Answer. The ceremonies Réponse. were organized during the daytime, and usually it would uh, conclude at about 6 or 7 o'clock uh, in the evening. Counsel, uh, thank you. Je vous remercie. Question. Question. So after the uh, conclusion of the ceremony, Donc, where did the couple go? Was there a, a house for each couple to go to? Une maison pour chacun des couples? <coughs> Answer. Réponse. If they had their relatives or parents uh, living nearby, then they would be allowed si to go there to stay. Si le avait des parents qui vivaient à proximité, alors on les autorisait à s'y rendre, se rendre chez leurs parents. And they would be allowed to rest uh, for a while. Ils étaient I mean, not to go to work. Uh, and the period varied period, from seven days to a fortnight. And uh, that was at the discretion of the unit chief. C'était à la discrétion du chef d'unité. Counsel, thank you. L'avocate, je vous remercie. Did you observe or did you know uh, from hearing other people that the militia would eavesdrop at night time on those elevated couples? Écoutaient aux portes pour voir ce qu'il se passait. Chez les nouveaux mariés. Answer. I did not know Réponse. for sure about that. Only uh, later on. I only heard uh, through other people that the uh, militia did eavesdrop on those people. But uh, through my understanding, it did not happen. Moi, and the fact is pas that lieu. the female unit chief chef de was considered as the mother of those women, and she would uh, uh, want to know whether the the unit members, Donc, that is those uh, si married women, consented uh, to uh, consummate their wedding. Pour consommer leur mariage. So usually, the units, the female unit chief uh, would uh, do that uh, with their unit members. As usually, the, de the married women were assigned uh, rooms or houses to stay. Council, thank you. And uh, through your observation, je vous remercie. Que vous avez pu observer, and voir, if uh, some couples, some newly married couple, did not agree to uh, consummate their marriage, what would be the sanction? Quelle était la sanction si un couple refusait de consommer le mariage? Answer. Réponse. No, I was not aware of that. Je n'en ne sais, sais rien. 
Counsel, thank you. L'avocate, je vous remercie. You just told the chamber that after the marriage they could live together as a husband and wife for a period between seven days to four nights, then they would go separately to their respective unit. Période après laquelle ils étaient renvoyés vers leur And how long after were they allowed to reunite? Combien And how long would, the, would they be able to allow to stay together Et after de temps that alors their initial period? Ensemble? Answer. Réponse. After they got married, they would be allowed to rest uh, to stay together for between a week or two, or two weeks. Ensemble et de se reposer pendant une à deux semaines. And their next uh, reunion would be varied. For example, if the husbands were soldiers, si exemple, they would return to their base, uh, for instance, uh, to the battlefield, battlefield de at the uh, border. À la frontière. And only when they, uh, they could, they would uh, seek uh, authorization Et to return to meet with their respective wives, maybe for a week or for 10 days, and they will be authorized to do so. And uh, besides that, they would communicate uh, amongst outre, themselves uh, through uh, letters. Council, uh, thank you. Communiquer. So what you said uh, is something that happened within uh, your region and it's not a nationwide. Am I correct in saying so? Answer. Yes, Réponse. that is exact. Yes, 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 Dans mon secteur, dans ma région. Did you ever observe through those uh, mass? Uh, L'avocate, je vous remercie. Avez-vous jamais or vu? multi-couple marriage about the impression of their uh, parents? Avez-vous jamais pu observer the les parents impressions des parents face à ces mariages Comment est-ce que les parents ou les membres de la famille étaient Anka? satisfaits de l'organisation de ces mariages, organisation qui était faite par l'ANCA Answer. I'd like to give you two points. Réponse. And first, it's choses. my personal view. D'abord, j'aimerais vous présenter mon avis personnel being. en tant qu'être humain. Of course, whether they were satisfied or not, I believe that some of them would be upset. For example, satisfait if I did not attend my child's wedding, then I would feel upset. Par exemple, si je ne pas au mariage de mon fils Second de ma point. Fille, eh bien, je chose que dire. From the the figure, uh, I learned some of them did feel upset. J'ai appris que certains étaient effectivement contrariés. And j'ai pu le voir à leur visage. Because many females or many women were organized to marriage. Uh, at the same time, ont été mariés en même temps. And as a com was the chief. Et comme Some said uh, they were organized by Chrome. chief, and others Certains would say that why you were disappointed chef. because the Alors wedding was organized by Anka. Council, what about the personal view of the, the, the men or the women who were que organized to get married? Would they be able to mariés? express their personal opinions against the, the will of Anka at the time? Avait-il la possibilité d'aller à l'encontre de la volonté de l'Anka et de le dire? In the and, uh, nobody Réponse. protested. Personne ne protestait. But uh, sometimes they uh, 
they made parfois, their feeling uh, to other people know at their respective units. For example, one would say he or she did not like uh, their partners. However, it, there were only a few cases of that, Mais and as a result, later on, they uh, got divorced. Et ces personnes-là pouvaient divorcer. And sometimes they would be uh, advised not to uh, get divorced. Parfois, and that's on how leur it conseillait happened. de ne pas divorcer, alors ils ne divorçaient pas. Council, Mr. President, I uh, have no further questions, Monsieur and I would like to ask uh, to cede uh, the floor to my colleague. Mr. Ma President, collègue. thank you. You may proceed. Le président, merci. Je vous en prie, allez-y. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Thank you, Bonjour, Mr. Monsieur President. le témoin. Good morning, everyone. Good Je m'appelle Marie Giraud. Je My suis l'avocat du collectif des I victimes qui se sont constituées partie civile dans ce dossier. Et j'aurai quelques questions aujourd'hui à vous poser sur euh, la vie dans les coopératives, les conditions dans les coopératives dans le district de Tramcock. Vous nous avez expliqué ces deux derniers jours quelles étaient vos attributions à Tramcock et la façon dont vous avez notamment supervisé l'arrivée des 17 avril, les questions liées à la nourriture et à l'hébergement. Et j'aimerais dès lors vous poser un certain nombre de questions en rapport avec les attributions qui étaient les vôtres à l'époque. La première question que je souhaitais vous poser, c'était, pouvez-vous nous expliquer comment et qui a décidé dans le district de Tramcock de la création des unités de travail dans les coopératives. Nous avons en effet entendu plusieurs témoignages depuis le début de ce procès qui nous ont permis de comprendre qu'il y avait des unités de femmes, des unités d'enfants, des unités itinérantes, des unités spécialisées. Je voulais savoir comment la création de ces unités s'était passée à Tramcock. Mr. President, uh, for the cooperative work in Tramco, uh, Tamok was the one who designated the task uh, to us. It, he led the work directly. But as for the commune or the district, for instance, the district uh, under me, uh, we did not know what cooperative was all about. We only understood the task that were assigned to. We had to prepare, for example, commune, uh, communal uh, dining hall. Uh, we have only one you know, kitchen for one village. So we had to uh, follow that uh, order. Nous devions respecter les ordres en la matière. Je vous remercie. Thank you, says Council. Let her Tamok further say that uh, we should have only one uh, dining hall for one commune. In other words, we would have only one kitchen in the commune. But it was not possible at that time. So uh, at that time, they selected a modal uh, commune. If a commune, if Des one commune could have one common dining hall, uh, then uh, si that would become a modal commune. Cuisine, uh, and others would have one or two different dining modèles. halls there. So we had to endeavor uh, to uh, achieve Et that. Nous nous People uh, would uh, argue with this, but it was the order from Anka, that's why uh, people had to follow. So the order uh, came from the upper authority, and we had Lors no choice but to do it. So we had to uh, 
prepare food. Il uh, fallait préparer à manger. And they made it clear that if we had one common dining hall, it saved a lot of time si and other people would be uh, doing other things other than preparing temps, food. So only a few people would be the cook and the rest would go to work. And as for the work, I meant uh, the uh, constructions of dike, uh, dam or in the rice field. And as for the organization of the unit, Quant à l'organisation des unités, at that time there were children, so époque, there were children group, enfants, there was a youth group, and youth group jeunes, uh, let the children group, uh, they let the children uh, to work, and they also showed them the good path in their life. And as for uh, female youth, uh, they had one uh, unit. As for the adult uh, women, uh, they would be under the uh, district uh, control. As for the uh, adult mobile, uh, the men uh, mobile unit, uh, they had to go to the rice field. And they had to uh, do the farming. So for the adult, uh, the district would uh, gather them to work in the fields or to build a uh, dike. For farming, we planted uh, potatoes and we also um, planted, uh, transplanting uh, rice. Uh, we did it uh, two times uh, per year. We were trying to achieve uh, three tons per hectare and over uh, 250,000. Uh, hectares, and we had to try to hectares. accomplish three uh, tons per hectare. Aside from that uh, agricultural land, uh, we were asked uh, to try to plant uh, other uh, crops, uh, such as uh, potatoes and other, other crops, in order to uh, feed uh, the member of the cooperatives. In sector 25, for example, they could not uh, do any farming, and then uh, we had to uh, help provide them the uh, crops. Uh, potatoes and other other stuff. Whenever they came to ask uh, for uh, something, we also provided them seed as well as the uh, crops for them one or two truck uh, at the time when uh, they requested uh, to us. In the district I uh, governed, uh, they had uh, rice and then they sometimes they add uh, cruel as well, but uh, as we uh, could harvest more crops uh, than all of them and at uh, rice, not cruel. Si so we have to, we had to divide them into bouillie, different units, children chose. unit, uh, young adult unit, Quant and production uh, unit. And as for well, the Il commune, uh, unités, they had the task to do it. Um, at that time, wherever tâches. there was water, we could do the farming. Tant qu'il y avait de l'eau, nous pouvions nous But uh, in my district, uh, I, of course, the discipline was rather uh, stringent. But in terms sûr, of uh, torturing other people, or so, uh, there was no such uh, things in, in the district I governed. Je vous remercie quand vous dites que la discipline était assez stricte. Qu'entendez-vous par là Strict uh, by being strict, I I meant uh, that uh, they had to they had to do it. Uh, they could not be you know free. Uh, because we were, you know, in this uh, cooperative, we had to work together in order to produce um, uh, something. That's why uh, they could not be relaxed. Uh, they had to uh, join force to, to do it. 
vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure la présence d'unités d'enfants et d'unités de jeunes dans votre district. La création de ces unités provenait-elle d'ordre de Tamok Et si oui, quelle était l'explication qui vous a été donnée pour que ces unités soient créées What instructions did you receive in order that such units be established? The reason uh, for the establishment of the various units was to uh, take firm control of the forces. We have we had to know. Uh, who were the children, who were the young adults or women uh, in the uh, cooperatives. We had to have the control of uh, the workforce uh, we have, whether or not they were sick, whether there were people who were lazy. So we had to uh, take control of that. Uh, how many people went to the field? How many people stayed behind uh, at home? We had to have that information. And uh, as the uh, leaders, we had to have that information. For example, there were 200 people and only 50, po 50 people went to work. Then they had to have this kind of report at hand. Otherwise, they would uh, go and ask the uh, unit chief the reason why uh, people did not go to work. So without the unit chief, how could we know that information? How could we take grabs of the uh, information? So the uh, unit chief uh, for children, women, and uh, men, uh, we had to have the control. We had to have the control of the uh, workforce, so that whenever we assign tasks to them, uh, it was done uh, expeditiously. Je vous remercie. Vous nous avez indiqué que. Il était important pour vous de savoir qui étaient paresseux. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer ce qu'il arrivait aux, aux gens qui étaient considérés comme paresseux Those who were lazy, we, uh, we would uh, discipline them. We, we did not take a uh, hard measure against them. Some of them were sick. Uh, that was the uh, practical uh, case. If they were sick, they could not go to work. Uh, that was it. But we had to have that information. Uh, and, uh, but there were instances when the unit chief uh, were too loose in their uh, leadership, uh, then we had to know that. So uh, we had to sometimes ask the deputy uh, unit uh, chief. And sometimes there were also um, conflicts uh, among the uh, unit uh, management. Sometimes we had to uh, go and find out uh, directly from each uh, unit uh, if it was uh, in line with what the unit chief reported. Uh, it would be good, but otherwise uh, we would have to we would have to uh, uh, convene them uh, for discipline, and uh, we gave them advice and uh, to uh, diffuse conflict if there were. But there was no uh, instant when we. Uh, frightened them, uh, those who uh, actually were found uh, lazy. Je vous remercie. Vous parlez de mesures disciplinaires à appliquer aux personnes qui étaient paresseuses. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner des exemples de mesures disciplinaires qui étaient appliquées Et est-ce qu'il pouvait arriver que certaines personnes soient arrêtées pour avoir été, pour reprendre le terme, paresseuses what happened to persons who were arrested for being, in quotes, lazy? I am talking about the overall uh, management uh, within the district uh, level. There was no arrest. 
I did not authorize any uh, arrest. The hardest discipline was to bring that person uh, to meet uh, directly because uh, at the upper uh, level, I mean, uh, we had more experience, we understand uh, the plan, uh, and we could see uh, from uh, the top, and then we would uh, find out the shortcoming at the lower level. So we would uh, guide them and uh, advise them uh, directly uh, what uh, was the uh, mistake and what should be done in order to improve uh, the performance. That was it, and then we would, uh, re uh, we would uh, let them go back. And if Ensuite, we found that there was partir, conflict within each si unit, uh, then we would uh, interne, uh, advise them, or sometimes we designated that person to a different unit. And unité. we also went uh, to observe uh, directly ailleurs, from the unit, and we had to understand what was really happening uh, over there. Sometimes we uh, heard the report, we did not believe it, uh, then we had to go. That was the experience of the leadership. We had to go and uh, find out uh, what happened on the ground. Je vous remercie. Vous indiquiez que parfois vous alliez donc directement voir you au sein des unités. Est-ce que les conditions de travail au sein de ces unités vous paraissaient correctes? Ou est-ce que vous aviez l'impression que la charge de travail était particulièrement importante pour certaines unités ou pour toutes les unités Est-ce que vous pouvez nous parler de ce que vous avez vu en termes de conditions de travail au sein des unités Can you describe to us what these working conditions in the units were as you saw them uh, I would go to uh, the unit uh, myself, but at that time the unit chief was not there. Uh, he had gone uh, to work already. Then I would uh, go and ask people, one or two people over there, in order to get the uh, uh, real information from there. And then I verify uh, that uh, answer uh, with the report. And then if um, it was consistent, I would not put the blame on the unit chief. But if not, then I would uh, convene uh, the unit chief uh, to advise. So, uh, if you, for example, if the unit uh, chief uh, were sick or so, si somebody uh, would malade, have to take the responsibility. And Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Mais sur les, les conditions de travail, Thank you, et witness. par exemple les heures de Regarding travail qui étaient demandées euh, aux instance, différents membres des unités pour euh, parvenir aux objectifs dont vous aviez la, la responsabilité, est-ce que vous aviez l'impression à l'époque que les gens travaillaient beaucoup, travaillaient trop, ou est-ce que les conditions de travail vous paraissaient correctes Hard enough, were the working conditions to your mind appropriate? I was about to answer that question. Concerning the working condition. Actually, uh, the work output was quite uh, similar. Of course, there were certain uh, shortcomings in certain units. Uh, that was natural. That was not uh, unusual. Uh, certain units were very active, uh, productive, but others were not. And when we went there, we would uh, observe that um, certain people could carry a bag of rice, for example, the other could not. Uh, others could not even carry half of the uh, rice sack, for example. Uh, that was not uh, uncommon. And then uh, when I witnessed that, I only advised, uh, gave the general advice to them that we had to help one another. That was uh, my approach. Uh, at that time, uh, 
Generally, people would say uh, that they agreed at that time the unit chief uh, would call me and call because I was older and uh, they would agree uh, with me whenever I gave them uh, advice on uh, helping each other. That was it. And as for the work output, more or less, we had to see uh, the food regime we provide uh, did to each unit, uh, the uh, place where they stayed, uh, the medical care or medicine uh, to be provided uh, to that unit. And certain units we had to build uh, accommodation uh, huts uh, for them. Uh, for the newcomers, when they did not have any hammock, we had to build huts for them, for example. So uh, these were the things that uh, we did at that time in order to improve their performance. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Nous avons entendu plusieurs euh, témoins et parties civiles, et notamment deux parties civiles qui ont travaillé dans des unités pour enfants dans le district de Tramcock, qui nous ont expliqué que les conditions de travail étaient particulièrement difficiles pour elles, notamment parce qu'elles avaient euh, 8 ou 9 ans à l'époque. Est-ce que vous avez eu l'occasion, lorsque vous étiez euh, à Tramcock, de visiter les unités pour enfants Et est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si les conditions de travail au sein de ces unités vous paraissent Tell us whether working conditions in those units appear to be acceptable to you. There were uh, many uh, places, and I, I did not uh, recall whether I had uh, visited uh, the unit uh, chief, uh, the uni uh, children unit. I did not actu uh, actually visit the unit uh, chief. Uh, unit. I only met with the uh, unit chief. And as for the work condition for uh, children, uh, they uh, did not have to do uh, hard work or hard labor at that time. All they did was to uh, collect the, uh, the bush, certain uh, kinds of uh, bushes in order to uh, produce into organic uh, fertilizers at that time. I only advised the uh, unit chief when I met him. Uh, that uh, he had to teach uh, children how to do it. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Je voudrais vous faire réagir à euh, un témoignage d'une partie civile like qui est venue témoigner juste avant le. Party. Le nouvel Ankhmer, c'était une personne qui était dans une unité de travail pour enfants dans la commune de Libo, dans le district de Tramkak. Cette personne s'appelle Umvanak et elle a déclaré lors de son audition devant la chambre en E1-288.1 aux alentours de 13h44, et je vous lis pour vous faire réagir, monsieur le témoin. Cette personne avait donc 9 ans à l'époque des faits. On nous a demandé de transporter de la terre dès 6 h du matin et jusqu'à 11h30 en milieu de journée. Si nous ne parvenions pas à battre la tâche qui nous avait été assignée, alors on nous privait de nourriture. Un groupe de 10 enfants devait transporter 10 mètres cubes. Parfois, nous y arrivions. Parfois, nous n'y arrivions pas. Si la terre était meuble, nous travaillions du matin au soir. Et là, nous parvenions à remplir les quotas. Mais si la terre était dure, alors nous n'y arrivions pas et on nous privait de bouillie. Je voudrais vous faire réagir, monsieur le témoin, à, à, ces, euh, à ces quelques mots, car nous avons entendu beaucoup de parties civiles et de témoins qui nous ont expliqué à quel point les conditions de travail avaient pu être parfois difficile. Est-ce que c'est des choses que vous avez pu observer vous-même lorsque vous étiez à Tramcock I never encountered 
I I am not trying to uh, make an excuse, but I uh, never encountered uh, that. Je n'essaie pas de trouver des excuses, mais je n'ai jamais constaté cela. We uh, they did not have to work until 10 or 11 in the morning before they had their breakfast. Actually, they had their breakfast heures, early in the morning. But I um, I also admit that there were certain uh, shortcomings in the uh, management. It was in, it was. Uh, Uh, not uh, uncommon. Uh, for example, the chief of children uh, unit, uh, he did not have uh, enough experience. Then when he could not uh, lead uh, it very well, he would uh, report it to the uh, his uh, supervisor. Uh, and if he failed to report, that was uh, his mistake. Uh, then because people at the top would uh, believe that Uh, things went as normal. Car When uh, it comes to the bien. children unit, uh, there were uh, the uh, there were two tasks assigned Aux to them. One is to collect uh, fertilizer. The other uh, one was to uh, collect uh, the uh, saw wood. And bois. then uh, they also produce uh, some kind of uh, chalk in order to Aux write. Sometimes the unit de chief de uh, wanted uh, the uh, praise uh, for himself and uh, he reported uh, incorrectly. But uh, if we learned the shortcomings, we would go and address uh, the issue. But no matter how hard we, we had to work, but there were shortcomings that we could not avoid. La nourriture vous paraissait-elle suffisante pour nourrir les travailleurs in order to feed dans le the district de Tramcock in, uh, Tram district. The food ration was there, although it may not be for them to eat uh, through their own uh, content. I said so because uh, they ate the gruel. And there was also a uh, potato. Il y avait également des pommes de and terre. sometimes they uh, cooked it and, and gave it to people. Parfois, ces pommes de terre étaient cuites I refer et to the uh, children who aux, ate aux uh, potatoes. Enfants. Les enfants mangeaient des pommes de terre. Although it did not uh, happen everywhere, and Cela some communes were instructed by the district to distribute uh, the potatoes to the, the uh, children. De des pommes de terre aux and that would be uh, in a supplement to the rice that were given, that was given to the people in the uh, communes. Aux habitants des communes. And sometimes we were uh, busy in distributing food Parfois and uh, produce to various uh, communes, and we ourselves did not have rice to eat. Parfois, nous n'avions pas nous-mêmes suffisamment de riz à manger. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué le premier jour d'audience. Et je vous cite, nous avons voulu faire trop bien et nous nous sommes fourvoyés. Nous avons instauré la méfiance dans la population. À partir de quel moment, monsieur le témoin, avez-vous avez eu l'impression que vous vous êtes collectivement fourvoyé Est-ce que lors de votre... Euh, passage à Tramcock, When vous aviez déjà l'impression que vous vous étiez fourvoyé et que vous aviez finalement attiré la méfiance de la population. This is a, a personal oui. matter, and allow me to expand on that. After the 
coup d'état. Après le coup d'état, the king father went into the Maki forest and all the about 100 teachers followed. Et une centaine d'enseignants l'ont suivi. There were in fait 105 teachers Il left and they fled from Tramcock district to the forest. And their intention was to fight in order to get the king father back into the government and they were in this front movement. C'était un mouvement de front sur le front. And if you followed the movement, you knew that there was a, a, si a resistance movement, movement and those people in the movement was was alleged as uh, Khmer Rouge, and it happened in Kampo province, in uh, Badambong province, and particularly in uh, Samlo, and in Samlod. a Prasod uh, district in Preveng and Swairi. As for Kampot and Takai provinces, it happened in Trampot district. So throughout the country at that time, the people who attended or who joined the resistance movement, they fled through the mountainous areas or to stay at the mountain. So uh, later on, they moved down from the uh, top suite, of the mountains to the rural areas. At that time, the party made a declaration ce that moment, the front would be organized and it would be later by the king father, Sianu. And Sianuk. there were Kyu Sampon, Hunam, and Hujun. And I participated Et in the movement in order to demand the return of uh, Sianuk. Le retour de Sianuk. So after the front had been organized, the people uh, returned uh, from place, the forest. De la forêt. And when I talked about the distress, I talked about the people who were méfiance, already in the, the rural area that is already in the front movement and those who returned from the forest. De ceux qui sont de la forêt. And it seems that those people who returned from the forest uh, did not really have a full uh, confidence or trust uh, in the people in the country. And we had to uh, defend and protect the uh, revolution and we had to be always uh, vigilant in uh, doing so. And through such movement, then people uh, joined and we worked uh, hand in hand. Nous travaillons main dans la main grâce Although à they shared uh, responsibility at uh, various levels. À plusieurs niveaux. For instance, at the commune or at the district uh, level. And of course, people would come to you to seek uh, your assistance uh, or uh, uh, intervention. Pour, uh, um, uh, please forgive me for interrupting you, je, je, je comprends bien que vous avez envie de, de recontextualiser tout ça. J'ai malheureusement un, un temps extrêmement limité. Je voulais simplement savoir si, à l'époque où vous étiez à Tramcoc et où vous supervisiez les unités de travail, les questions de nourriture, d'hébergement, vous aviez à l'époque l'impression de vous être fourvoyé. C'est-à-dire qu'en gros, les principes que vous mettiez en œuvre ne marchaient pas. Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que vous pensez à l'époque, ou est-ce que j'ai mal interprété ce que vous avez déclaré en début d'audience in fact, I probably uh, made a rather lengthy response, and maybe not to the point that you want me to, uh, to answer. 
I actually I cannot recall uh, the, uh, the, the main point that you asked in your question. Could you please repeat the, the points that you want me to respond? President, interrupt, and uh, counsel, could you please repeat uh, your question as the witness uh, cannot recall it? Bien sûr, Monsieur le Président. Ma question, Monsieur le Témoin, était la suivante. Vous avez déclaré le premier jour d'audience, et je vous cite, « Nous avons voulu faire trop bien et nous nous sommes fourvoyés. Nous avons instauré la méfiance dans la population. » Je voulais savoir si, en 1975 et 1976 et début 1977, lorsque vous étiez à Tram 4, vous aviez déjà l'impression de vous être fourvoyé. Est-ce que vous aviez l'impression que les politiques que vous mettiez en œuvre et que vous avez expliquées ce matin, la division du travail en unité, la collectivisation, est-ce que vous aviez déjà l'impression à l'époque que ces principes ne marchaient pas ou non At that time, the people were content with the front lines, and they simply followed it. Of course, there were a few exceptions, and we had to resolve the matters through mass meetings. And that's how we resolve the issues. However, the issues that happened. Uh, were minor. For instance, 95% uh, of the people would agree uh, through our uh, lines, and only 5% opposed or not agree to. And then through the mass meetings, we explained to the people that uh, we were moving forward and everybody would have followed. Et tout le monde and a only a few would oppose, and then we would uh, advise them to refashion themselves and to follow the lines of the front. And we would uh, ask them to draw experience from uh, what we uh, did, so from what we had done so far at the time. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Témoin. J'ai deux you, dernières Mr. questions. Vous avez indiqué tout à l'heure, un petit peu plus tôt, dans votre témoignage, en parlant des, des conditions de travail et de l'organisation des unités, que vous euh, reportiez aux, aux dirigeants pour voir avec eux où étaient les problèmes et où étaient les défauts. Je voulais savoir quel type de rapport vous faisiez aux dirigeants uh, you would uh, make to the leaders. Vous arrive, and vous, if uh, you, at times, de mentionner dans ces rapports you would mention des in reports information, erroné, erroneous information, pour ne pas in order sur la not uh, to um, alert unités. them uh, about the situation in the units. The report was about the leadership situation, about the situation of the enemy and the situation of conflicts and the resolutions to those conflicts and whether other conflicts remained unresolved. So mainly the report focused on the situations, including those areas that I mentioned, and also on the situation of the economics, on the highways of produce, and on the collection of tar from the plantation, rubber plantation. And then the report was sent to the upper level. Usually, the report would contain the, the situations and the measures taken 
et rendez compte des and mesures the focus en place. Et le focus sera sur les mesures que nous allons faire dans le futur. Par exemple, quelles seront les mesures sur la production de potatoes et sur les résolutions de conflits Et si les conflits ne pourront pas être résolus, les conflits seront reversés dans le niveau supérieur pour leur résolution. Mais ce n'est pas une solution. Cependant, cela n'a pas été rarement. Nous parlons à l'échelon supérieur que nous avons déjà beaucoup à faire et nous avions déjà beaucoup à faire à notre niveau pour ce qui se passe à notre niveau. Dans le meilleur, dans le mieux de nos capacités. Et seulement plus tard, nous pouvons donner des conseils à l'échelle supérieure à travers des situations complexes ou des problèmes. Demander l'avis de l'échelon supérieur pour les situations très complexes. Voilà, c'est tout. Je vous remercie. Dernière Thank question. You. Vous parlez de situations complexes. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un exemple de situation qui méritait que vous en référiez à l'échelon supérieur It is rather difficult to respond to that. Usually, the report could not contain everything. We would encompass into the report as much as we could about the situations internally and externally, and about the situation of the people. In the area, and whether the people followed our movement, our guidelines, instructions, and how many percentage of them disagreed or not, wanting to follow us. For example, 30 percent of the population did not want to follow us. This is just an example, and the same approach was used for other situations, including the situation on the economic, economics, or the situation on the work plan, so that the upper echelon could have a an overview of Ainsi, what happened in the area, and if we needed uh, advice from the upper echelon, we would uh, state si so in the report. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Je crois que mon temps est terminé, Monsieur le Président. Je vous remercie. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Le temps est convenable pour une courte pause. Nous allons prendre une courte pause et revenir à 25 à 11. Nous allons suspendre and uh, court officer please assist the witness in the room for the witnesses and civil parties during this break and invite him along with the duty council into the courtroom at 25 to 11 the court is now in recess